scientific advisors. In 115, section 115, the High Court has the power to appoint scientific advisors in a suit for infringement or in any proceedings before a court. That is the declaratory suits we saw the under 105 and 106. Now this can be done on an application by any party or when the court itself feels that the, uh, there is a need for appointing scientific advisors. Now the role of a scientific advisor is to assist the court, to enquire and report any question of fact or opinion. So they are not legal experts, they are experts who give opinion on a particular existence of a particular question of fact, not a question of uh, interpretation of law. So it's a question of law, a fact that they uh, report on. The remuneration is fixed by the court. It includes the cost of making a court. The court could appoint or order a daily fee if required, if they are required to attend the court. Every day they come in for a hearing, the court can uh, order daily fee for that. Now what is the eligibility for becoming a scientific advisor? The eligibility is uh, detailed in Rule 103. Scientific advisor, which shall be a, a role of the scientific advisors maintained by the controller. They need to hold a degree in science, engineering and technology. They should have 15 years of technical, practical or research experience. The responsible post in scientific or technical uh, department of the government. The IITs, the IISEs or the government engineering colleges. Uh, the people from the, these places normally are uh, nominated or, or their names normally appear in the role of the scientific advisors. Now there are some disqualifications also. Now, disqualifications are the normal disqualifications for any uh, any legal person. The person is of unsound mind, has been an undischarged insolvent, is a discharged insolvent, no uh, but no certificate from the court uh, uh, from the court, or is convicted for some offence by a court, is guilty of professional misconduct. These are mentioned in 103A. Uh, you can remove a person from the list. Uh, it, you have to make a request for removal, uh, say the name was entered on roll by an error or if the person is convicted of an offence or if such person is dead, then the name can be removed under rule 106.